Alexander Hagri here for Monaco RC. Today I'm going to show you how to connect our new VRC Pro adapter. It's the second version which has ultra fast FTT and in this video I will instruct you how to connect the different channels, the four channels to your receiver and how to calibrate it inside of your PC and how to set it up for VRC to have uh, channel 3 and 4 functioning as uh, refueling and marshalling. So how do you connect the VRC Pro adapter to your receiver? I'm going to show you which channel um, represents which because it's marked here with um, shrink wrap with different colors on each cable. So I've got my Sanwa receiver here. It's already uh, binded to my M17 transmitter. So make sure that your receiver is, is uh, binded. You can also do it when when you connect the adapter, but it's easier to do it uh, before. So we start with channel one. It's the, the solid red uh, heat shrink. Goes into channel one in the receiver. Channel two is the solid black heat shrink, this one. It's a bit of a tight fit in the sun one. And the third channel is the black and the red uh, together. So, third one. And the fourth one is missing heat shrink, so it's got no color. And that's it. That's all connected. You then need a mini B to USB data cable. So this kind of cable um, it's, of, it's often supplied with cameras or those kind of devices so it's likely that you'll have one at home if not they're very cheap on Amazon and you simply connect it to the receiver to the VRC adapter here and the USB goes into your PC and now we're gonna move on to the next step how to calibrate the adapter. So before we calibrate the radio against the VRC adapter in Windows, we have to set up certain things on the radio. So in this case, I'm using my Sanwa M17, which is a really popular radio. And uh, a lot of you that use this radio, you will find this video useful. But this guide also applies to other radios, other brands of radios, which you can use. Uh, the same settings, but you have to to reach those through different ways, but you have to refer to the product manual. So first of all, we need to make sure that the VRC adapter has the LED on, that it's powered up and is working. This means that it's got power. And the Sanwa receiver, which I'm using, has a blue LED, which means it's binded to my radio. <clears throat> Speaking of which, we need to go into the system menu, into the bind menu, and make sure that we have the response mode set to SHR on all channels. Don't use anything higher than SHR because this adapter will not work with anything higher than SHR. So all the four channels need to be in SHR. Then we need to set up the third and fourth channel to be able to use other functions, for example, for marshalling and refueling in VRC. And this is a little complicated, but I'll guide you through the process. First of all, what we need to do is we need to assign the buttons on the radio to channel 3 and 4. And you can choose whichever buttons you want. But in this case, I'm going to use the switch 1 for the third channel. So what do I do? I go, go into system, key assign, switch 1, and I choose the function, which in this case I want it to be AUX1. The mode has to be push, so when you push the button, it works as a button which you switch on and off, basically. And we go to switch 2. Switch 2 is this button right here. So I'm going to use this button as channel 4. We choose AUX2 for uh, switch 2, and again we choose push. 
this means that you just you just push the button like this so in this case we push that to have marshalling or refueling which we're now going to program so how do we then set this up to work for vrc we go into settings you go to channel tree channel tree is a1 we need to go into the epa setting we need to set the low point which means the lowest point on the epa to zero and we need to do this for the four channel as well. So we jump to A2, which is channel four. That is done. We can now go to the AUX menu. But before we do that, we need to actually set up the AUX. So we go to the AUX type and we need to make sure that it's in step type for both AUX one and two. Step type and mode one is what I've chosen. Then we go to the AUX menu. AUX1. What you do then is, as you remember, I set up channel 3 to be switch 1. So I go into AUX1, I choose, I select the 0, and I push down switch 1. And then I move this high point to 100, which means when I push down switch 1, it's sending a signal at the highest endpoint. So you can see that it's working when I push down the switch one. We need to do the same for AUX2, which is switch two. So we choose it, push down switch two, go to 100. This means that when you push down these buttons, they activate channel three and four at full endpoint. That is done. And as for the steering and throttle, you need to make sure that everything is at 100% before we do the calibration in Windows. So to do the calibration in Windows, we go into the search bar. We search for setup USB game controllers. We open that up and we have the Arduino Leonardo selected which is the USB adapter for the VRC and we go into properties and into calibration. Now we press next and next and now we need to move channel 1 and channel 2 in both directions simultaneously for the system to register the movements of those channels. When that's done we press next again next. Now we have the X rotation and then we have the Y rotation and these are the channel 3 and 4 which we um, set up using the AUX function on the transmitter so we need to push that button for channel 3 for it to be registered and then we do the same for channel 4 that's done you can press the buttons to see that they're working for the X and Y you can also move the steering and the throttle to make sure that it's working in all directions. That's working perfectly fine. Okay, done. So now let's start up VRC to set this up for VRC. So we go into options, control options, and we can already see that we have the Arduino Leonardo as the chosen controller. I would like to turn my exponential to zero because that's for me that's the best feeling. And we're going to customize. Now we can assign the buttons for the for the channel three and four, which we set up through the AUX configuration. So what we need to do now is we actually need to disconnect the channel 3 from the receiver to trick the receiver into having only one channel active at this time because if you try to assign the buttons with both channels both channel 3 and 4 connected uh, is gonna want to assign both channels to one button so it's not gonna work so disconnect channel 3 from the receiver then we're gonna go to the refuel button here and we're gonna 
try to reach ry plus basically what you need to do is you need to push down uh, channel 4 until you need until you reach ry plus here that's where we want it to be for the refueling and then we connect channel 3 back for the top we need to push down the other button until we reach the value of rx minus so now we have channel 3 and 4 selected for refueling and marshalling and it's important that it is in this order rx minus and ry plus otherwise they will conflict with each other so that's all done we can now demonstrate these functions in the game we can start up a practice session I'm gonna practice now with the nitro car to show both the refueling and the marshalling function we drive, we drive onto the track as you can see the marshalling is working we push the marshalling button go back to the pit come in for refueling and it's refueling both buttons are working as they were assigned push the marshalling again and that's done now I'm gonna enjoy some VRC with my VRC adapter from Monaco RC.